<laughs> what, was, what was the difference? What just happened? Delicious, delicious spaghetti. I'm a stupid mother fucking idiot. I make bad chemistry puns periodically. Oh, this one's got even more. Ooh, this looks interesting though. This one's got even more stars than the last one. Pushover puzzle. Uh, this is pushover puzzle by Sean Hip. So what are we gonna push over? Hopefully it's the bowl of spaghetti so we can chow down. You heard bird and bad populations. Yeah, it definitely. I mean, it, it's usually a mistake to just assume that like, oh, we'll just wipe this thing out. It can't. It can't have any lasting effect. What's the problem? There's doors everywhere. So this door, we got this key door right here. So we're gonna get two keys total. It looks like this key door is gonna give us access to maybe that P switch or something. Um, but that's not gonna beat the level. This P switch door. Oh, goes to the top left corner. But if we go through that, we're gonna just go on top of that power block. So we're gonna have to get that power block a different way. That's really weird, actually. I don't know how we're gonna get that power block. How are we gonna get? Because then the door next to the power. Oh, the door next to that door right above me here is what goes to the end of the level. How are we gonna get in that with the power block situated like that? All right. Well, we'll think about that later. And I don't even know how to start the puzzle. Great. Literally, what do I do? Oh, I go in the door. I've got to go in the door. So we can't go over here. Going up there, nothing. Okay, what's in the door? What's in the door? Oh, well that was easy to get the P-switch. I thought it was gonna be harder. <laughs> um, I got a question. If I hit this P-switch, will it make the... You guys see how there's a coin uh, up above me right here? There's a coin underneath that. If I hit the P-switch, I wonder if it might push the spring to me? Yeah, it does push the spring to me. And now maybe we can get this. Yeah, we don't want, we don't want to go up there. Oh, maybe I should try to go in the P-switch door. Oh, I can't get down there. I was gonna try to go down to the, get to the P-switch door, but I can't get back there. We need a key for that. So somehow we gotta figure out how to get a key. Well, now we've got the spring. Maybe we can do this. Give me the spring, all right. Oh, that's totally what we do, okay. Oh, I got an interesting idea. So now, oh, I can just straight up go up here. Do I wanna go up here? How do I wanna do this? Hold on, let me go up here, let me do that. And then let me go up here like this. Now I have both of these things. Yeah, this doesn't... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Suddenly giant Galoombas. I actually don't have that big of a game collection, um, Tuba Gamer HD. I lost a lot of my games when I moved and stuff like that. Okay, so now we've got giant Galoombas fucking everywhere. What's the goal here? I don't even understand where we can possibly go. Uh... <laughs> How do I get back? How do I get a fucking key? I would like a key, please. What's the goal to get a key? Obviously, I just touched the axe right there. Um, oh, I need to get the bomb. Oh, I get it. I need to get the bomb. And then I... Where do I take the bomb? Oh, I can blow something with the beginning, but I don't know how to get back there yet. Oh, I got an idea. I got ideas. Stuff's coming to me. I got a really good idea, actually. Let's just... Spaghetti everywhere. No, let's just do this. Put that one there. Put this one here. Get this one. Okay, my goal here is- oh, fuck you. No, I don't want this, because I need to get up there. I need to kill those guys. Shit! Ah! Wait, I got this. 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 The goal- no, I don't got this. I need to- no, I go back. Oh, I'm an idiot. I go back. Okay. This is it. This is it. I just go back. Okay, okay. I was like, because when I hit the fucking launcher up there, it starts shooting Galoombas in my dick. So I need the I need the launcher to stay down so it doesn't shoot Galoombas at me, but then I need this guy here so that I can get the bomb. So it's just a matter of how do I get the bomb out of there. It might work if I just put the spring on it. This might work, and then I lose the spring. Okay, what am I gonna I gotta think about what am I gonna do with the bomb when I get it? Where do we take the bomb? Um Oh god, oh god. Oh, that is the key! Oh my god, that is the key! Okay, 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 okay. Okay. We can go back in this door. I like this puzzle so far, I'm really digging this puzzle so far. Oh, we can get the spring again, do I need the spring? I don't get what I use right now. I don't, cause I, I can't, I have, this lets me get, okay, I need to go in the P-switch door, but what do I do in the P-switch door? Hold on, I'm gonna get this, and get this, please, okay. We're gonna go through here, and then I can go in the P-switch door, while this is at, oh, it's the power's gonna cock block me. Damn it! I thought the power was gonna be one lower. I thought the I thought if the piece which were active, then the coin would turn, and if the coin turned, then the power wouldn't spawn, and if the power didn't spawn, then I go through the door, and I thought I'd fucking won, and then I was gonna just glitch my way into the door. <laughs> oh, I don't have another key though. 
Shit, we need one more key. Oh god, where do we do? This level looks like crazy. Well, thought I was doing something good and now I'm 100% lost. God, I was... We need another key, but how? How can we possibly get another key? I... Okay, I get... I see where the other key is. The other key is right... right there. How the fuck do you get that? How is it even conceivably possible to get something up there? What could go up there? Hold on, let me reset the room, let me reset the room. The spring can spawn up there. Oh, there's a... Oh shit, I went back to the door. So there's a sideways spring up there, but how? Hold on. Because this spring would be up there too. Hold on, wait, let me try something. What if I just... I'm just gonna take the P-switch instead. Fuck that spring. So if I take the P-switch instead, then now this spring is there too. Would it work if I used the POW? I've got an idea about how to do that, but I feel like it's not gonna work. The other option is I could kick something into that. If I hit the... I, I have an idea about how I could get that. It's very weird. You, if you guys notice, there's actually a little path in here to the side. Oh, I'm running out of time. Fuck. There's actually a little path to the side right there too. I wonder if there's some way to do something with that, but I would have to get a power up or something. Oh yeah, and I'm boned. I'm dead. I can't get out of here. Oh, I can get out of here. What do you know? I don't know if it matters. What I need to do is I need to get the POW block. Actually, where did the POW block go? I want to check something real quick. Where does the POW block go when I hit the, uh, when I hit the P-switch? Getting, I'm getting ideas. Alright, I want to just see... I just want to hit this. It pushes the POW block to the side. Can I get it? Fuck! So did you guys see how the POW block, like, went flying to the side? I was thinking maybe I could get it. Sean, is this an out of the map puzzle? Because, all right, here's the issue that I'm having. I think I have enough time to show you guys. Here's the issue that I'm having. I can't just go over there and get the POW block because the way that you've set it up, the POW block actually spawns. Check this out. If I go up here, the POW block actually spawns over the door. And that's the only way to beat the level is to actually, what was my first Mario game? It was actually Super Mario Land 1 on the Game Boy and then Super Mario Land 2 on the Game Boy after that. Play those before the originals, I think. Um, the POW block is always going to stop me from going up there. So I need to be able to get the POW block in order to, and carry it through the door with me because then that POW block won't be there. So the only way to do it is to push the POW block off screen with the P switch and be right here and grab it? I don't even know. I have 13 seconds. I don't think I have enough time to try this. Yeah, I have an idea, but I don't think I have enough time to try it. This is kind of crazy though. Oh, I'm gonna get blocked anyway. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> All right, we need more time. I'm gonna run out of time. So use the P-switch to get the spring. And then I'm gonna go in and out of this door because I actually, I don't even know if I want the P-switch, but whatever, I can't remember. Then we can use this to knock that up there, which is useful. I actually think I just want to straight up reset this as is. Yeah, this is the way I want. Oh, I need the spring, shit. So the reason I go through it in that order is then the launcher's on the ground instead of up here shooting Galoombas in my face. So this allows me to get the bomb. And then once I have the bomb, I can kick it over there and blow that up. Now that I've blown that up, I need to get the P-switch again. And do I need to get the spring also? Can I even get them both? I can get them both. Let's just get both just in case I need them. So we're gonna get the spring like this. And then we're gonna go back in these doors to get the P-switch. Yeah, we're just gonna bring everything over there. Kind of got, I kind of got the Galoombas in my dick problem right now, but I don't know if that's going to be a huge issue. So what I want to know now, is the question here is how do I get this? All right. Yo, I fucking got the foul block. That's how you fucking do it. All right. So what happened is I hit the, the Galoomba hit the P-switch. When the, when the Galoomba hit the P-switch, the turn block right above Mario right here pushed the POW off the side of the map and Mario waiting right here while I'm holding down the grab button on the controller will grab the POW as it falls off screen. All right. Now we got a motherfucking POW block. How old are you? I just turned 29. Push over puzzle. Exactly. It's called push over puzzle because we push it over. All right, now here's my idea that I was scheming before. I don't know exactly how we're gonna make this work. You know, I think I got an idea. All right, so now we bring the POW block down here and we're not gonna use it. Once, we're not gonna use it yet. Instead, we're gonna, oh wait, no, maybe I do just wanna use it. Shit, I'm not 100, I think I maybe just use it. It's possible, it's possible right now if I use this POW block. Oh, I totally get it. We're gonna use the POW block. I don't know, I don't get it. <laughs> Shit, I don't get it. I think we might just use the POW block. I've gotta try it. My, my thinking is the coin is gonna, using a power block makes coins drop. If the coin drops, if it's on top of a spring, I don't know if it's gonna hit it or not, but it might. 
Oh. Oh. Fuck. You. That was so close. What can I do differently? Okay, we could have done something with this piece switch door instead. Oh. Yeah, you can't cheese the level because we needed to use that. Now, guys, we couldn't just take the POW block up there. It would never work because I had to use... I wouldn't have a key then. It wouldn't matter. Like, if I had gone up to the door in the top left, it wouldn't have worked. Even if I were carrying the POW block, I would have used my key just to get through here. So, like, I hit the piece switch, go through here, go through the piece switch door carrying the POW block. Yeah, then I come out at the top left, but I don't have a key anymore. We need to get the second key first. It's not going to matter until we get the second key. And now we can't get the spring, and I think we're boned. Yeah, without being able to get the spring, we're pretty much fucked, I think. Yeah, it's... This is the end, and I don't have my Galoombas, so we're boned. And then the coin up there is dead anyway. Alright, we're fucked. Well, that was my idea for that shit. I don't know how else to get the... I was hoping the coin would, like, go on a magical journey. I mean, I think I get it, kind of. So here, check this out. Here's my other idea for like, okay, imagine the coin gets hit again. See, watch, when you hit the P-switch, it moves that, it moves the top spring. Oh, I get it. We just hit the P-switch, go, oh my god, I get it. We hit the P-switch, go back through the door. Sean, you are clever as fuck. I get it. The spring will stay in the same spot. Oh, we hit the P-switch and, oh, my controller just, dude, my, my batteries just literally died on my control, on my Wiimote. One second, my batteries just died. I totally get it. I got an idea. So the idea is we're going to use a, use the P-switch to move the top spring, but then let the P-switch timer wear off, then use the POW. So the top spring will be in the right location. Oh, but that's going to... No, no, no. That's... Oh, no, that won't work. Fuck. Well, I have no idea. Well, let's at least get back to where we were. I want to test something, though. Like, I'm going to hit this P-switch, not because I need to, but just because I'm interested in testing something real quick. Oh, that was... I literally lost every item in one second right there. God! 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 Well, this will let me test what I wanted to test, too. See, the spring falls, and that sucks. <laughs> I need that spring not to fall. I need the spring to be up there still. Sean, what are you doing to me? The the part the only part of this puzzle that I don't understand right now is how it's possible to get the key in the top right. Like, unless it's not by I could put the spring back there if I could get hit. Push over. Huh. I'm like looking at the area over here, and like there even if the spring got knocked out, I could theoretically put it back over there from the right side, but only if I had a mushroom. Yeah, I get it now. And there is a mushroom. I get it. I 100% get it. There's a mushroom in the bottom left. Okay, our goal is... I'm, I'm, I'm there, but I'm one step ahead. I get it now. Our goal is to first get the mushroom in the bottom left, and then I know how to do it. I totally get how to do it. All right. I probably don't get how to do it. <laughs> I actually don't think I even want to get the power yet. Hold on. I'm going to... First, I'm just going to work on... What's the game plan? We got to figure out now how to get... Yeah, okay. We're going to get... The... We have to get the bomb through the door here. Alright. I think I'm getting some ideas. If we get the bomb through the door like this, this is going to let us... get this thing. And then when we use the POW, now we can get the mushroom. And when we use the mushroom, I think I know how to do the other part of this. I think I know how to do the other part of this. Alright, so now I just need to get the POW block, I think. So let's go back up here and get the POW block. We can use the POW block. I want to do it while the P-switch is active because I don't want to destroy any of those coins. So now if I use the POW block, it destroys the muncher, and I get the mushroom out of there. Alright, so before this P-switch wears off, i got to figure out if there's something else I need to do. I don't think so, honestly. I think I need to get another POW block, though. Yeah, I think the way to beat this right now is I need to get another POW block. Can I get another? I should be able to get another POW block, right? If I just... My goal now is to get another POW block. I think we're making progress. This is a very complicated puzzle. I hope I don't get stuck here. Oh, I just got stuck. Nice. <laughs> nice. Just got stuck. Damn it. Can't really think of an easier way to do this. I don't think I need the spring. I think I'm carrying the spring for no reason. Yeah. Let's just go through here. Oh, I'm gonna get stuck. Yeah, how the fuck am I su This isn't right. <laughs> how am I gonna get the POW block again? God damn it, Sean. 
how the fuck do you do this puzzle? Because I get stuck. I mean, I could make that, but it'd be hard. I'm running out of time. I feel like there's an easy way to do this, and I don't quite get the easy way to do it, so I'm just trying to do the hard way. Yeah! <laughs> I don't think this is how you're supposed to do this. Oh, uh, yeah, I can't hit it like this. It doesn't work. It doesn't work like this. <laughs> Fuck my life. My goal is to get another power block and then try to beat the fucking level. Without the power block, I don't see how to beat it. Oh my gosh, Jean-Nip. I can't throw the P-Switch up there while I'm Big Mario like this. I just get stuck in this door. This is one of Sean. This must be one of Sean's hardest puzzles. This is kind of crazy. What's another way to get this power block other than what I'm doing? I have no fucking idea. Got an idea. I'm gonna try coming back here with that there the P-Switch instead. I'm gonna try it like this. So I'm gonna go in and out of this door in order to collect another P-switch. Then... I don't know, this isn't gonna... Yeah, no, this is what I want. If only there was a way for me to... hit this fucking P-switch right now. If I could just hit this P-switch remotely, we would be good. If I could get the Galoombas walking on the top, we would be good. But how do I get the Galoombas walking on the top and still be down here? I can't. Man, we were so close, but I don't see like the last step to this puzzle. I need the other key. If I got the POW, I know how to get the other key, but I can't do it without the mushroom. Oh, I've got an idea. Maybe I'm being an idiot. I think I'm being an idiot. Couldn't I just go through the saw as is? Yeah, I think I've got an idea. Sorry guys, it's a little complicated trying to think ahead for this part. Okay, I think I've got an idea at least. Damn, this one's really hard. Um, I think I've got an idea, but you'll see what I'm talking about when I get back there. So it's all about that, what to do with the mushroom. That's the question. What to do with this fucking mushroom when I get the mushroom. And I think I'm starting to get an idea of what I can do with it. Basically, I'm going to run in there. I'm going to run where the coin is. And then I'm just going to just throw some item up. I think it might be a P-switch. And then I should be okay as long as I clear this guy up here first. Yeah, I think I've got it. We can be really honest, I probably don't have it. <laughs> Still on this level. This level's very hard. This is the hardest genre puzzle that I've ever played, I think. This one's got like, I, I feel like I've solved like five really hard things and none of them have been like the actual solution to the puzzle yet. Alright, so that gets us the key. We're gonna go back and do this again. We hit this because it knocks the spring down. And then I can use the spring up here to get another bomb. We're gonna use this bomb to die. Oh god, I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> and you solved the puzzle! Oh my god. Yeah, this is this is all the delicious, delicious spaghetti that you don't get to see unless you watch the stream. God damn. Uh, now if I use a POW block, <sighs> then I can get the mushroom. And so the question then becomes, what can I do with the mushroom in order to get the key? The key, god this puzzle is complicated, the key is in this block up here presumably because it's the only thing I haven't hit yet so we can I think get this kick this up here as soon as the Gloomba walks on the p-switch a block underneath the pal block is gonna push the pal block down this allows me to grab the pal block now we can go back here use the pal block to get the mushroom I did it while the p-switch was active so that I wouldn't destroy the coins in the top right now here's the part that was extremely confusing, was what do we actually do now? So we can get back up here, if I go in here, I can use the P-switch to get this thing. Okay, I thought I was gonna have to use the POW to get this, but maybe I don't. I think what I'm gonna do to get this key, I think I can get the key right now, honestly. I'm pretty sure I can just get the key right now. I kind of want to do it with the P-switch instead, but I'm not 100% sure. It should work with a spring though. Alright, here's my plan. Here's my master plan. If this isn't it, I fucking have no idea how to solve this puzzle. So, here's the plan. YOLO. Fuck yes! We got- And I'm an idiot! I'm a stupid mother fucking idiot! I didn't move the launcher first. If I had moved the launcher first, I would be able to get out right here. And then we do the peace switch grab again, fucking beat the goddamn level. Oh my god. On the plus side, my plan worked. <laughs> I'm gonna call that one a victory because my plan fucking worked. Oh. Every time! 
How does this happen so consistently? Uh. Alright, I think we actually know how to solve this puzzle. This, this may be the hardest one I've ever done. Just because there's like eight individually tricky, really difficult steps to this. So we throw the peace switch up here, the Gloomba walks on it, a block under the pow pushes the pow off, this allows us to collect the pow, then we can use the pow to destroy the munchers in the bottom left corner, destroy the muncher in the bottom left corner while the peace switch is active, or else it would destroy the coins that I need to use later. Then, this gives us the mushroom. With the mushroom, we can damage boost in the saw, do it like not an idiot this time, Hit this motherfucking thing up here first, then go in here, wait for the P-Switch timer to end. Okay, because I've already activated the P-Switch, the, um, the sideways spring at the top of the screen gets moved. It gets pushed by that block. So we come up here, kick this up there, get the freaking key, get out of here with our lives. Alright, we fucking do it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, and I can't get the spring anymore. Ha 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 Wait, do I need the spring? I hope I don't need this. Yes, I need the spring. Oh my god. I had to do it. I had to do it with the P-Switch. Not with the spring. Because now I have no way of getting the spring. And I'm pretty sure without the spring, I can't beat the level. Because without the spring... I'm losing my mind! Without the spring... I can't knock the launcher up without knocking the launcher up. I can't get the Galoombas to walk without the Galoombas walking. They won't hit the P-Switch. Without the Galoombas hitting the P-Switch, I can't get the POW again. And without the POW, I can't go through the door to get to the key door. <laughs> you can still do it? I hope not. I don't know how you thought I could still do it, but I need the POW. Reason is because when I go through this P-Switch, door that I'm on right now, Mario will come up here, and when Mario comes up here, if I'm not holding the POW, that POW that's below the P-Switch outline will actually be on top of it, and it will eject me. So unless there was a way to get that POW without the spring, and I don't know how to do that, it would not have worked. Oh my god, Sean, what are you doing? You've like trolled me like 18 different ways during the exact same level. Oh, I gotta be a little bit careful here. Because I, I need to make sure that the uh, springs spawn. So I'm going to go back through this door because the springs were not spawned. And then we're going to hit the P-Switch. Oh shit, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? I need the P-Switch. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. It doesn't work, does it? I don't think it works. I need to use the P-Switch. But if I don't use the P-Switch, I can't use the P-Switch. If you P-switch what I'm P-switching... Oh, fuck, I don't have the solution. Alright, so here's the problem. <laughs> oh, no. I can't activate the P-switch. See, see, the obvious solution is activate the P-switch, which pushes the spring at the top, yay. And then I bring a new one with me. Problem is, is as soon as I enter a door, look right now. The spring is gone. The spring in the top right is gone. I can't bring another p-switch it doesn't work it does not work what in the fuck are you doing sean what are you doing how is it possible then we need to use some is it my first idea if i could get another pow block i know how to do it with my first idea well we're boned i have the bomb oh i can do with the bomb oh i do with the bomb i get it i do with the bomb I maybe get it. I might get it. It's possible that I get it. Could I do it with the bomb? I don't know if I could do it with the bomb. I might be able to do it with the bomb. Could I possibly do it with the bomb? No, the bomb timer is not long enough. Dude, Sean, what are you doing to my life right now? The bomb timer is not long enough to do this. It could be long enough to do it actually. So if if I could if I could collect Oh fuck you. If I could collect the coin how can I collect that coin? Okay, if I could collect the coin that's blocking the spring, the bomb would work, actually. Because the problem is I have to wait for the P-Switch timer to wear off before I can actually go up there and do anything. Oh, I know how to do it. Oh my god, I've not, I fucking know how to do this. This is crazy. Problem was, if I were to go back through... Like, if I were to... Imagine I come out here holding a bomb. In order to get the top right spring to move over, I have to hit this P-Switch. 
but then see this block right above me here turns and I can't go in there and throw the bomb up. So what I need to do is I need to get rid of that coin first. So how can I get rid of that coin first? Well, actually I can use another bomb to do it. So I got an idea. I'm gonna actually destroy that coin with a bomb. At least I think it might work. Pretty sure. If this isn't it, guys, <laughs> I'm out of ideas. You can use the pow to hit the coin, but then, I, but I don't know how to get a pow while I'm big. That's the problem. I don't know how to get a pow while I'm big. If I could get a pow, I mean, can I get, can I get the pow and then get big? Hold on, let me think about that real quick. If I could get the pow first and then get big, no, because I need to use the pow to get big. That doesn't work. It doesn't work. Shit is whack! How do you do this? <sighs> Alright, let me just try my bomb method. Alright, now let's get the bomb one more fucking time. So in order to get the bomb one more time, we should just be able to do it like this. It should still work just fine, even though we're big. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> that should work. Okay, this should work. I shouldn't die. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Here's the plan. Here's the fucking plan. We throw this up there, that destroys the motherfucking coin. Okay. Oh! Oh, that's how you do it! Oh my god, I'm an idiot! I solved it and I didn't even know what I was doing. I did that, I'm an idiot. All I had to do was hit the P-switch and I would have just had it. Oh my god. Here's what I thought we were gonna do. What I thought we were gonna do didn't make any goddamn sense because I would have had to hit this P-switch again anyway. What was I Guys, that's what I was gonna do. Did you see that? Did you see that? That's- that's exactly what I planned. That's how I- how I intended to solve the puzzle. That was exactly it. Oh my god. Can I still solve it anyway? No, I can't. I was gonna throw the P-switch up there, which doesn't make any goddamn sense because I have to hit the P-switch in order for the fucking thing do the fucking thing, fuck my life, I got the key to nowhere! Alright, on the plus side, I think we actually, we actually solved the puzzle by not realizing how to solve the puzzle. Alright. You see the game like Neo sees the Matrix, don't you, Sean? <laughs> No, seriously, Sean makes seriously amazing levels. This is a phenomenal puzzle level. There we go, the, du the duck strat is the easiest way to get that bomb out of there. Am I forgetting something? Fucking get in there! Magical journey. So for anyone who didn't catch what happened, we freaking use the bomb right here because there's a coin actually right where the spring is, right above it. And when the bomb blows up two blocks away from a coin, the coin drops. When the coin drops, it boings off of the spring up to the top. But even that isn't enough because if you don't activate the P-switch after entering this room, the top right spring is going to be one block over to the right because the piece which turns the spinning coin in the top right corner into a turn block which pushes the sideways spring over. When it pushes the sideways spring over, then it intercepts the flying up coin. The coin goes on a fucking magical journey, gets the goddamn key. Now we can get the fucking spring, use the spring to get out of here, and now all we need to do, I think, is one last one last of these maneuvers in order to get one more power block and if this isn't the fucking end of the level dude why are we if this isn't the end of the level i'm gonna fucking lose my goddamn mind wait i need the yeah yeah, yeah i want the piece of it all right get out of my way galoombas there we go all right now we got the power block so yo is this a poo raid thank you so much poo all right um I think what I want to do here, I think I just take the pal block over here and we fucking win this. We fucking win, right? If we don't fucking win, I'm going to be fucking mad. This has got to be the end. This has got to be the end. Please be the end. Please be over. We fucking did it. Yeah, motherfucking tough. That was like the hardest Sonic puzzle that I have done in a long, definitely since Tricky Puzzle. Holy shit, how long did that take? What was it called? That took 51 minutes to solve that fucking puzzle. Are you ready? Oh, spaghetti! You know I am. Whoa!
we good? Mm -mm -mm. That cheese tastes so good. So yeah, I, I actually spent a ton of time, several hours, just pulling my hair out, trying to figure out how to improve the time on this one. And that is when I figured out you can actually get through this entire section with just a piece, which check this out. You jump mid-air mid land on the P-switch and the POW falls right into your hands. You can't do that unless you come from the bottom though, or else you don't get enough speed to get over there to grab the POW fast enough. So at this point, I have to wait for the P-switch timer to wear off, that's why I'm not really doing anything. So once the P-switch timer wears off, you do that same trick from the auto scroll puzzle, where the POW wave is used to destroy one of the coins, but not both of the coins. So this allows us to drop the coin with the POW that's above the spring, but still use the coin in the top right as a turn block which is needed to push the spring to the side so that it's able to push the coin onto the note block to get the key so then as soon as we get the key we go back through the door and now all we're trying to do is collect another p-switch so that we can do the trick again but because we have to wait for the p-switch timer to wear off though because the coin below the pow has to actually be a coin instead of a turn block in order for it to eject the pow off the side so that you can grab it so we use this trick twice and pretty much destroy the entire level we don't even use the bomb to blow up the muncher in the bottom left or get a pow another time to go through there to get the mushroom we don't need to do any of that bullshit so this one got completely cheese oh my god i was so happy when i figured this one out this one was <laughs> oh this one was good this one was, this one was really good i'm sorry sean i'm sorry if sean deletes this level and re-uploads it without the cheese i'm gonna i'm gonna mutiny <laughs> There must have been some other cheese in this level though, because I only beat the previous world record by seven seconds. So, the, and I wasn't getting even within 10 seconds of it doing the regular strategy. So there must be another strategy to cheese this, but mine was faster. <laughs> All right, so this is Pow Catcher Puzzle 2.0 by the great Sean Hip 2. We haven't done one of these in a while. I'm excited to get back to puzzling. The reality is, is that we wanted to play a troll level or a Sean Hip puzzle. And the reality of that choice is, we're, this is also a troll level, so knowing Sean Hip. Oh, there's a ghost here. Maybe I need to kill the ghost. Ooh, that gets me a key. That's nice. It's good to know. Well, I feel like I'm stuck here. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm actually. What the fuck happened? I think I'm stuck. I, I don't think I can get to the spring. All right, yeah, we're we're actually <laughs> we're actually stuck. All right, look at this level here. So we got some coins and stuff over here that can let out a bomb. I don't see a way to get the... No, I, I see a way to get the bomb. Because if you hit the P-switch and you collect both of these coins, the bomb will come out right here. Uh, how do we... That's... That's a saw. Who would have... Who would have known? Who would have known that that's what happened when we jump into a saw? Apparently I didn't see that coming. All right. Um, there's a key door. Or key... Yeah, key door that goes up here. All right. So we got to get inside that key door. Well, we already know how to get the key. The key comes from the ghost. So how do we get out of that area? And um, there's a POW up here. It's called POW Catcher Puzzle. So I don't understand how that name is going to come into play. We can't make this jump, can we? Nope. All right. So I already don't know what to do because I don't see how to get the Yoshi. We need to... What the fuck? I don't even know how to start this puzzle. Am I missing something? It's like I'm missing something. Because if I go down here and hit this, the POW drops, the bomb doesn't do shit. And I saw Flog, right? We got this Yoshi in here, but how do I... Oh, wait, am I, I'm, I'm retarded. I think I can jump on the other blocks to get out. Block to get out. All right, wait, 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 wait. I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid, okay? I'm stupid. All right, so we're going to do it like this. I think we can jump. Kill this guy, get that. I think we can make that. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we can make that jump. So now we got a Yoshi. Much better. We got a key, we got a Yoshi. Okay, so now we can tongue that. And then we can do this to actually... Oh, there goes the pow. And then we can do that to get this. So that's gonna let us... Question mark, question mark, question mark. Whee! <laughs> what the hell is going on in this puzzle, though? I have no idea what we're doing. Oh. Oh, I can eat that coin. Would anything different have happened with the bomb if I'd eaten that? So the problem with hitting the P-switch is then the POW block falls here, and I don't get how to get the POW block. Oh, we can... Whoops. We can do this. Maybe I need to... Here, wait. This, this won't help, right? Well, that definitely won't help, but I can throw that in there and hit the music block. Uh, I think we're dead. I have a feeling that whatever it was I was supposed to do, I didn't see, and we are dead. Let's start over. 
Why did the sun go to school to get brighter? Okay, so what can we do differently? I don't know what we can do until we get Yoshi, so let's just start by getting that Yoshi again. Okay, rather than go down there and... Here, wait, let's do it like this. Okay, before we do that, let's see what else we can do over here. We can do a boss, so we can actually take this and throw it somewhere. <laughs> I don't know if that helped. So wait, if I get these two coins, that might let the bomb come out. So then if the bomb comes out, I can... What can I do with the bomb? What's the point of the bomb? I can blow up these blocks right here. But what's the point of that? What we really need to do is we just need to get in this door. So we need the power block and then like to put the spring underneath it or something like that. Something like that. Oh, this is very puzzling. Oh, I could tongue that through there. I don't know how that would help. So in order to get the POW, I need to hit the P-switch from somewhere else. Do I need to catch the POW? Like, put a... put the spring or the... put the spring over there? But how do I get the spring? So let's see what happens again. Alright, let's just let's watch what happens when I hit this. The bomb... oh, the bomb... Oh, okay, nice, 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 nice. The bomb did come out now. Alright, so we're making progress. So the bomb came out now, and... What does the bomb do? Um, so my power block is down here. Hmm. This is very puzzling. This is very puzzling. Alright, that does that. What's this do for me? Theoretically, I could like, oh, I could grab the piece, but I need to hit the piece which to get it. Huh. Okay, wait, so I could, I can take the spring with me actually if I do it like this. So maybe this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And then I can... And then I can use this. I just need to get the POW. If I had the POW, I'd be done. I would need to get through here or something in order to tongue the... Then i get stuck anyway in order to tongue the POW. How do I get that POW? POW catcher! So, I mean, clearly I need to catch the POW, but maybe if I had the spring there ahead of time, but problem with that is I can't get the spring. Can I? Let me see if I can get the spring over there. Yeah, so it looks like we need to get the spring, but the thing is is that... Alright, so here's the problem. The problem is, I can't get the spring until I use the power block. That's the problem. Or until I use the P-switch, I mean. So, until I hit this P-switch, I can't get at this spring. And as soon as I hit that P-switch, as soon as I hit that P-switch, the power's gonna fall. So, what can I do to stop... What happens if we tongue a bomb? Does it just kill it? Yeah, it just kills it. So I can... I... Huh, this is not, this is not, <laughs> this is not working the way, maybe if I was thinking, what else can I put over here? This one up is like the only thing I got to work with. I could put Yoshi over here. <laughs> put Yoshi in it? But I can't get up there. What the fuck am I missing? Here, wait, let's just check this out real quick, so. We're gonna hit this. Yeah, there's no way in hell I'm getting over there. And then that's gone forever. I could get the bomb. What else could I do with the bomb? I could blow this block up in case there's something. There could be something hidden under this block up here. Uh, the arrow is pointing at it. It's like the only other idea I have. Uh, Yoshi, as far as I know, can't press a P-switch. So, yeah, I was thinking that too. Like, so, uh, like if I were to drop Yoshi on this... Well, actually, wait. What if I do it like this? No, yeah, it won't, it won't work, right? So, like, if I drop Yoshi on that, see, he won't hit the P-switch. I have to be standing on it. I'm pretty sure that Yoshi's sprite interacts with POW blocks, though. There's a, actually a crazy Kaiser level where Yoshi will, like, where Yoshi hits stuff. So if the Yoshi were there, it would work, but I don't know how to get the Yoshi there. Or maybe I'll just hit the... Well, see, like, there's this gap right here, but what else can we put in it? It's, I feel like it's gotta be the spring, but... Ah, oh, Sean, your levels are so puzzling! What's this ghost do? Is it just gonna... Like, what is it? I can't do anything with it. Hmm. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's in- wait a minute, that's interesting. <laughs> wait, can I get on? I can't get on him like this? <laughs> What's going on? And I want to try to get on him like this. Oh, I can't do it. It looks like I should be able to get on to him. Come back. Well, that's all sorts of weird. Wait a minute, that just gave me an idea! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 I got, I got, like, a really weird, if this is it, like, Sean, if this is it, I don't know what you're fucking doing anymore with your puzzles, man. Like, if this is the fucking puzzle, I don't know what you're doing anymore, Sean. Is Yoshi my pow catcher? How, how are you fucking gonna time this? Fucking shit, Sean! Sean, you are crazy! You're, you've gone mad, Sean! 
<laughs> you fucking gone mad. How is that the answer? How is that the answer? Also, what are the chances that I fucking line that up on the first try? Well, there's like that that thing where it's like if all of the if all of the simple answers don't work, then the only answer remaining must be the true answer. And the only answer remaining was fucking use Yoshi. Okay, but I think I'm still dead. Because I think I need this. Wait, wait, which. Because I don't think I can. Wait, wait, what if I. Can I just, like, throw this out of here? Yeah, so that can go over there. And then I can just get. Because I don't think I can make this jump up here anymore, but I can just get off Yoshi. So, wait, I think we're good. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, God, we're not good. I don't have the key anymore. Oh, because I didn't. It's right, because I didn't kill that guy this time. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. No! What else do we do? What else can we do? Uh, jump! But how can I kill this guy? Hold on, wait. I need to bring the pow. Hold on, wait. Because now I. Okay, I can stand on the pow. Can I eat this guy with Yoshi? That's like the only other idea I got. And I can't eat him with Yoshi. How the. Can you. Old levels used to be able to kill stuff by putting by throwing pals at him, but I don't think you can do that anymore. Well, I can't get the pal up there anyway. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, I can. Uh, so let's put the spring back down here. Um, does this work still? Mm, no, it doesn't. What the? What was, what was the difference? What just happened? I. Is it because he didn't have a place to come up and so it died? Because it didn't have Because... So they used to be... You used to be able to kill munchers and everything by spitting pals at him like that. But they patched it. You couldn't do that anymore. So I clearly spit it on it the first time and it didn't die. And then the second time... What was different? Alright, I don't even know what's going on anymore. We're solving the puzzle by just, like... Sure luck at this point. Um, so now we just need to spit the spring back oh. out and then do this. And then we got it. Alright. <laughs> Yo, we in there. <laughs> we in there. What the? <laughs> we in the what the? <sighs> We're not in there. We're not in there at all. We're not even a little bit in there. Ah, shit. A fucking course, man. Every time. Oh, God. All right, so the part of the puzzle that we're obviously missing is the bomb. So let's... We, I feel like we did the bomb part right the other time. So let's... Um, oh, this is weird, actually. I think I have to kill the ghost. Whoa, what the hell? I think I have to kill the ghost like that. Because I was just going to say, okay, I'm going to kill the ghost like I did before, and then I'll just get Yoshi to run around down there from the saw. But if I, if I do that, then I can't get back up here. So I think I actually have to... Uh, well, we're gonna try it. I don't think I can do this, though, like this. Let me just see what happens. So we're gonna get this coin, go up here. I forget how we do this. We have to eat those other two coins, that's it. So we have to eat these two coins. Um, and then... I, I'm pretty sure this isn't gonna work. Um, yeah, this is a bit weird. We'll stop it. Yeah, I can't get up there if I do this. Shit. <laughs> Shit, that isn't gonna work. No! Why does this happen every single time? It's like, oh yeah, we figured the puzzle out. And then it's just like, oh no, we haven't figured the puzzle out. We haven't even figured it out a little bit. Alright, so we're gonna have to do it differently. So I think we're gonna have to... Here, let me eat this. We're gonna have to do this weird shit with the... How is this the fucking setup? Like... <laughs> Sean, you've gone mad with power. Alright, I have to time this again, which sucks. Last time I did it, kind of when Yoshi was just running to the left. Like that. That was too soon. Shit. Oh, there goes the Yoshi! <laughs> See you later! Yeah, would it be easier if I didn't collect both of those coins? Maybe it would. So, like, another option is I could just eat that one. Maybe that's gonna make it, things a little bit easier for me. This is so weird. <laughs> this is so weird. Alright. So then the Yoshi won't run past it like that. And then I just have to hit it when Yoshi goes to the left. Yeah, there we go. All right, then we got the bomb, we got these two, we got the spring. All right, I think we're in good shape. So I think we just need to hit this. I don't know if it really needs to do anything all that special. 
don't think that matters anymore. Oh, oh, this is totally right, because when I do this, I can collect, I can grab this. Okay, okay, oh. okay. Oh, we fucking got this! Alright, so we just need to, you know, if that spring left, I would have been very sad. Alright, um, I don't really get how this thing dies. What's the, like, what the, okay, it's like while it's coming up. It only works if you do it, like, while it's coming up. Alright, we got this, we got this, in there! All right, I think that's the last Sean Hip Troll. <laughs> See, I told you we were gonna play a troll level. <laughs> Yo, we in there? That setup was ridiculous. I mean, the the name Pow Catcher really helped because I knew I had to do something to catch the pow, and there was nothing left to catch the pow other than the Yoshi. But that was like so so many weird little things. I didn't even know that you could kill the ghosts like that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I completely destroyed this level, sorry Sean. So we're gonna get the key and the Yoshi at the same time by using that block to kill that guy. But then, turns out you can just, you can just kind of jump in the door and just get it the... Oops, I broke it. I broke it! I broke it! I broke it real good! Oh my god. Alright, so what you're supposed to do, if you remember, is like you're supposed to like send the Yoshi over to the side and make the POW block fall on it and do all this stupid shit with a bomb and then make the little like spring POW block platform below the door to go into the door. Screw all that! <laughs> so the way that this one works is that basically if you get the perfect angle and this thing took me hundreds of tries to just get it once. And even with the reason that I didn't get it on the first try was because even after practicing it for a long time, the best I could ever do is get it like one out of 20 tries. Um, but basically what happens is if you get the perfect angle, Yoshi and Mario can actually just stand on the wall for just one brief instant, which is enough time to go through the door. But you have to jump with just the perfect angle in order to be able to get into it like that. This is actually something that happens in every Mario game. I don't know why Mario, why, I don't know why Nintendo has not fixed it, but like all the original Mario games, you can do this too. And it's actually the basis of the wall jump. So for that brief instant when Mario is able to like kind of stand on the wall, you can also do a wall jump. You can do a wall jump or you can go into a door, which is really cool. So it's, it's actually kind of nice that it's like almost like a throwback to the old Mario games to some extent, that this even still exists. But yeah, could have also done a wall jump, can also go through the door. I'm sorry, Sean Hip, I broke it. <laughs> and I, the thing is, is previously, I always thought you had to be able to get a speed boost in order to get like enough speed to clip far enough into the wall in order to be able to stand on it. Um, so like, I have a level where you do this, but you like run off of a conveyor that gives Mario a lot of speed first. You can also do it if you like have star power Power because the star makes you run really fast. I never realized that you could do it without any speed increase at all. It's just a lot harder to do. So overall, this ended up being 20 seconds faster than the world record. <laughs> Whoopsies! Oh, I... Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, where am I going? Oh, I just wall jumped! What the fuck?! Shooting star puzzle by the great Sean Hip 2. Let's do it. Next film is on Saturday, November 4th. All right, we have ourselves a puzzle, man. I haven't, we haven't been puzzling good in too long. We've got a piece switch. Can we get it? We can get the piece switch. Well, that was easy. We could use the piece switch to go in this door. But let's see. To get to the axe here, we are going to need to go in... Oh, the door on the right side of the screen. There's a on the far right side of the screen. There's a buzzy beetle and a muncher. So that's where we're gonna have to go in eventually. So we're gonna need to get a key. I don't see where to get the key. So have to think about how we're gonna get the key here. We can hit that. That's obviously what you do. And then you go in here and get trapped. Yeah, that's the first step to solving the puzzle. And then oh, we're back. Okay, maybe we're actually okay. Wait, I think we can use the P switch to get these guys out of here. Come on, why won't you go up there? Right. Oh, that didn't work. I thought you could do that. Maybe you can't do that. Mm, let's let this go up here, and then we can go down here, and then we can die. I could, oh, I could throw the shell through that, actually. That's like a little gap I could throw through. Wait, what, why did that work that time? What the fuck, man? Oh, oh, oh. I'm good at this video game. Well, that was definitely the way to solve the puzzle. 
<laughs> I did it! Wait, I just- what's happening? Like, okay, hold on, wait, look real closely here. When you- when I first start, the muncher is- Oh, it's a star! If you look really closely at where the muncher is, one more time here, there's actually a star that spawns, and the muncher is destroying it. It's a star! So we're gonna have to get that somehow. Maybe if we... Wait, what happens if we, um... What happens if we go through the door holding this? Oh, the it still gets crushed. Okay, that didn't help. I don't know what's going on. So let's put this one up here, then let's get this. So now we got both of these. How are we gonna... We gotta, like... I don't get how we're gonna... How we're gonna protect the star from dying. I feel like somewhere in there we need to protect the star from dying. Uh, if we use this... And then, I don't know what the P-switch is for. Let's take it over here. Let's come back down here again for a second. Oh my god, all right. Wow, uh, this thing's kind of in the way, actually. I don't think I, I'm just gonna hit this because I don't, it's just kind of in the way. See, if we do this, that throws the shell up here. Hmm, that did not help us do anything. If we'd gotten a key, we'd be done. Okay, <laughs> we're making, we're making no puzzle slowly. I just realized there's a muncher all the way up here, by the way, like, all the way up, oh. Does it do anything for me to... No, that doesn't do anything. I'm trying to think of like, is there something behind the blocks? We need a new plan. How do we get the... It's not quite clear to me. Actually, wait, let me restart here. I'm, I don't even understand how it's theoretically possible. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, it's because I was collecting the coin. I totally get it now. I was like, how do I possibly get the star out from under the muncher? I totally get it now. There's a coin right here. And I need to, there, that coin, see that coin? I was collecting that. I need to not collect the coin. So now if I go through here with the P-switch activated, now look, the star is free. And if we use, oh, actually, I'm gonna go back through here real quick, just because I wanna use the pal block and then get this. Then the muncher dies, then the star is free and we got a star. So what do we do with the star? I don't get what we do with the star. How does the star help us? Oh, we can run through. But how does running through help? <gasps> Wait, I know how running through helps, I think got an idea okay i'm gonna get the star go over here oh it kills the beetle shit <laughs> fucking shit i fell right into it damn it sean uh my plan my plan was to go through was to grab the beetle but you can't grab the beetle while you have the star shit i would need to grab the beetle or no i would need to just kick the beetle and then collect the star something like that let me see if i've lost already i'm, I'm not sure if i've already lost Okay. Oh, the star is gone, so we're dead. Okay, we're gonna have to restart. How do we get the star? I have to delay using the star, something like that. Or I could, I could get the star to go across the top too, or something like that. How would I do that? How would I get the star to go across the top? <laughs> that wasn't it. <laughs> that wasn't it. Wow, look at that, I trapped the star. That's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting. I wonder what, I think as soon as I grab this, we're gonna get screwed. Yeah, it just gets crushed. Damn it. What else could we do here so we don't get too fixated on this? The, there's the one up at the top. I feel like the one up at the top is a hint, and it's trying to tell us to either go there, put the star there, do something over there. Oh, well the star just came out there, but that still didn't help us. Maybe I leave this, no, I can't leave the star there. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to leave the star there. Well, we're making no progress slowly. Looks like there's something behind the door. Well, there's like a one-way gate. Oh, there's a one-way gate that's preventing you from going through here, if that's what you mean. Oh, you mean behind the door on the other side? Hmm. What I don't understand is how can we get the star to come up, to go like up here? I can almost, I've got it, hold on, wait. I got a little bit of an idea here. Let's go through here. Maybe I don't even want to carry the pow. I wonder if I don't want to carry this. Hold on, wait. Do that. Do that. No, that wasn't it. Shit. I was thinking like maybe that would like knock the star up there. I can also just put something up here. It gives me an idea. Maybe if I just like put a little ladder and like the thing kind of goes up there. I, it's it's important that I don't collect this coin because if I I need to actually not collect this coin right here because that's what's preventing. That's what's preventing the muncher. Hold on. What if we just do it like this? What if what about this? It's my work. Come on. Yes! Fuck yeah! All right, all right. So that gets the star down there. So I want to see what the star does. I need to know if the star goes out of there. Shit, I need the st Oh, oh, I get it. I dropped the P-switch down there. Wait, 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 wait. I think I dropped the P-switch down there. Because I need the star to get out of there. Because if, if I just collect the star and then I fall onto the... <gasps> 
What just happened? I can't pick that up. So what I need to happen is I need to drop the P-switch down there, I think. <laughs> Yo. All right, we fucking got this, I think. We got, or at least we got ideas. I don't know how we're going to beat the level, but we've got some ideas at least. The reason I'm doing, I, I'm using the POW block because it's destroying the muncher that would otherwise crush the star. Using that as a ladder to let the star go up. And then now I just need to go over here and not spaghetti my fucking face off. This conveyor is extremely annoying, though. Oh, that's not right. Wait, wait, I need to just throw it. I've got it, I've got it, I got it. We just need to throw it. Okay, this is, this is the smarter way to do this, I think. Okay, here we go. There we go. It does work! It does work. Wait, what did that do for me? Why did I even do that? What was the point of doing that? Because what I- Oh no, I need to block it off on that side too? So it stays- I need to be able to pick up the shell and then get the star. That was so close, I feel like, but then I didn't- Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Why did I think that was gonna work? Because if I- I'm doing something wrong here, but I don't get what. I was hoping it would stay in this area. Because imagine I could get the star right now. If I could get the star right now... <laughs> if I could get the star right now, then I'd be fine. I need the store to stay in that area. All right, I got an idea. I don't know if I can get it access to another power block, but I have an idea. So my thought process now is, what if we, I don't know if actually there might be too many items. Yeah, there's too many items because I need to use this pow. Wow. Yeah, I don't get it. I have to use that pow. Shit, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. If I had another item right now, I'd be okay. Because I was thinking I could put one item in here to block the star off from... Now then I couldn't go up there. Fuck, that's a bad idea. That's not a good idea. We're puzzling good. I need to get the beetle. But okay, what's the point of getting... Let's let's stop thinking... I'm, I'm tunnel visioning a little bit. Let's try to think ahead. What's the point of getting the beetle? Because what I need to do is I need to get a key. I should just... I think I've already destroyed the beetle, right? Yeah, I've destroyed the beetle and I didn't get a key. So that means the key is in the two munchers over there, which is probably not the case. We can test that. It's probably in the box. It's probably in the question mark block that's like to the right over there behind the munchers. So we're gonna have to need to hit it with a shell. Yeah, I can't just use the star and then go down there because using the star kills the beetle. The big That's the big problem that we have is using the star kills the beetle. Man, we were, I feel like we were doing so well. How can we do this part differently? Can we do it with a POW block instead? I don't think that would help us though. Does hitting the P-switch do anything? As far as I can tell, hitting the P-switch doesn't really do anything for us. So we hit the, so the reason we're doing this part is we hit the P-switch to make the block above the star turn, so the star, so the star doesn't get killed by the muncher. We then kill the muncher with the POW block. And then we put this over here so the star can go up there. At what point? Could I just be ahead of it? No, yeah, I'm overthinking this, guys. I get it. I'm overthinking this. I can just beat the star. I got it. I totally get it. I totally get it. I'm just overthinking it. We just have to beat the star. There's not. It's not like I have to wait for the star or anything. I waited for it the first time because I didn't know what the fuck was going on. But wait, I think I've got this. So we just need to run in front of the star. So the plan here... The plan here is just leave this and then let's go on a magical journey over here. Okay, I'm an idiot. That was like... That wasn't hard. All right, we got this. So now we're gonna get this. I hope it won't kill the shell. Will it kill the shell? It does kill the shell, shit. Oh, I just throw the shell. I get it. I fucking get it. All right, we're just gonna throw the shell and then we're gonna do it. And before he thinks he has it and he doesn't, we got close. We feel like we're making progress. I'm getting faster. And then all we need to do, I think, is just kick the shell. I think if we just kick the shell, we're good. Cause it's gonna get stuck in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna get stuck in there. Okay, and then we use the star. I don't know if we need to collect those coins or not. Okay, we have to wait for the st yeah, we have to wait for the star to run out. <laughs> oh god, if I had touched the thing. All right, now we got this. Now we got a beetle. What do we do with the beetle? I don't fucking know. I think I, I've got to go through here to get out of here though. Interesting little trap there. All right, now the star is gone, but we do have a shell. So the question now is, how could we? I don't know. I think the beetle's gonna come back to life. Um, the question is, how can we destroy both munchers? Because right now, if I throw the POW block at the muncher stack, hold on, I need to know something. Yeah, only one of them goes down and there's no other, there's no other, huh. that's kind of confusing. I don't understand how to get rid of the other muncher. There were some coins over there. Sometimes you can do some fancy stuff with P-switches. 
I already got the coins, unfortunately, so I don't know whether that screwed me or not. It doesn't seem like it's going to be possible for me to get, to kill both munchers. I would have to get the pow block. Oh, no. Oh, come back to life. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you can't kill munchers with star power. Obviously, that would have been really easy, but no. All right, well, I feel like I might have missed something. Sometimes Sean's got like a little sneaky thing that you may have, if you miss it, then you're pretty much boned. But like, I can take a bunch of items over there. I got an idea. I can... Here's my idea, like, what if I throw this one over there, then I can walk down there. I'm gonna wait for this beetle. Oh, I can maybe let the- oh, fuck you, come back. Come back. I could let the beetle walk somewhere too. I'm trying to think if there's like a use for that though. I don't really get it. I could- actually, if I did let the beetle- no, I don't get it. Fuck, I don't get anything. I get absolutely no part of this. So, the way muncher stacks work is if you throw a pow, uh, at, a, at the top muncher in a stack, it'll destroy that muncher plus the one on the bottom. So we could use that to destroy both munchers, but I can't get over there with the power block. I don't get how I would get over there. Oh, so that would kill them. But then I would need to do that. Oh, I just got a great idea. I just got a really great idea. I think I get it. The problem with that is, so the reason why I wasn't just jumping and throwing it right there it's like, the reason why I wasn't jumping and throwing it right there is because then I'm stuck in this box and how am I going to then do anything useful? Like, like let's say I do that. How am I going to, uh, in, how am I going to actually do anything after that? Because then I need to, I need to get the shell to hit that block. But what I didn't get is, I think I can, I think, do you want, I can't quite get what he wants. I think I get it. I think he wants you to set the shell going even before that though. Hmm. Yeah, I think that might- or I can just throw the shell backwards. I actually need to test something real quick. I need to test whether the shell can do that. Like, like imagine I'm right here and I'm throwing the shell. Will the shell actually go through those? My understanding was that it wouldn't, but I might be wrong. Okay, yeah, this one kicks through here. I get this. I'm pretty sure I want to collect these coins. Yeah. Okay, I think, I think we got it. I've got two ideas here. I, I need to test something though. Okay, the first thing I need to test is can I- I don't think I can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See guys, so this one won't go through here. So the, the way to throw- if I'm in here and I throw the pow or whatever, A, it would destroy the shell if it's on the ground. Yo, beast, how's it going, man? Um, so that's not gonna work, but I got another plan though. I do have- I do have another plan. So the other plan is we're gonna send the shell on a magical journey. <laughs> and then we're gonna do- let me think about how this is gonna work. I do use the P-switch, huh? I do use the P-switch, so the P-switch is gonna go- Dude, we're solving the puzzle last time, we don't even know it. So we're gonna use the P-switch there, don't come back to life, please. We're gonna put this... This one over there. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna kick this, go over here, and then while the shell is falling... Oh, you son of a bitch, Sean! You fucking son of a bitch! You knew I was gonna do that! You fucking knew I was gonna do that! Because POWs destroy any enemy touching the ground, so I had to use the POW while the shell was falling. And while I used it while it was falling, it knocked out the muncher that it needed to get through there. So I do it- oh, I just do it two seconds later when it hits the spring. Alright. As soon as it hits the spring, that's when I fucking do it. Oh my god. Every... goddamn time. <laughs> Can't cheese a Sean hip puzzle. So we should be able to do that exact same setup though. And just as soon as it hits the spring, then we do that. Which is still pretty tight. So we're gonna have to throw that pow as soon as that as soon as the shell hits the spring. So use this to re-get to re-get my stuffy stuffs. Use this stuffy stuff to go down there. Cause that's gonna be see right now with the muncher there, that's gonna have a platform to go on. I'm just gonna leave this here. Alright. All right, all right, no spaghetti. Please mama, no spaghetti. Yes, we fucking did it. All right, is that the end? How do I win now? Now we just gotta go in that door. We just gotta go in that door. Don't fuck it up at the end. All we need to do is go through the door. So all we need to do is use the pow block and then go through the door. I think we got this. <laughs> you can go through these conveyors really fast if you get like the perfect godly duck jumps. Oh, I almost had it. In there. In there. <laughs> <laughs> fucking quit. Fucking. Fucking quit. Oh 
my fucking god. Why? You're a dirty man, Sean. You're a dirty, dirty man. It's actually really impressive that he's able to do that every time. I know, he always does it in a different way. Of course it kills you afterwards too, like it wasn't- it wasn't a gentle troll. Oh, now we gotta line this shit up again too. Alright, not too bad. Okay, so use the- Alright, we gotta free these again. Use that one, keep this one like a not idiot. Okay, I was like- I thought I was gonna get hit by the beetle there. If that- oh my gosh. That actually just freaked the shit out of me. I thought- I just thought I got tricked again. I thought I was going to literally, like, hit the beetle, kick the beetle, and then insta-die. Ugh, because it kicks the beetle while I'm holding the P-switch. God damn. <laughs> Good shit, Sean. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, that was- that was exactly what I needed in my life. That was exactly what I wanted. Let's do it. Mario Maker! More like Mario make -a me crazy! World. Wiggard. So right off the start here, I'm gonna do a P-switch jump and then go in the door to respawn the P-switch. I wanna hit the P-switch as quickly as possible like that because we can't get the star until the P-switch timer runs out. This is because the turn block that's trapping the star is not going to let the star out until the P-switch timer runs out. So I'm gonna throw the shell right when the star is at a certain point up there so that its cycle lines up later on. Because right here we have to wait for the star power to run out before I can touch the shell. So I want it, I want it so that the star power runs out right when the shell is right by the door so I can grab the shell and instantly run through the the door like that. This next part was definitely the hardest part of the level, so we have to juggle the shell, but then re-hit the shell so that it stops in the right spot for us to be able to grab it. Throw the P-switch over there so that we have a platform later on to stand on, and then we have to kick the shell down there also, but before the shell hits, we have to be in position with the POW so we can throw the POW while the shell is in the air so that the POW doesn't destroy the shell and gets us the key. So we hit the POW block to remove the muncher under the final key door, and then I did this series of jumps to prevent the conveyor from slowing you down. So remember, we have to hold the P-switch when we go through the door, or else the P-switch will block us from going through that door on the other end. Overall, this one was all about just finding a bunch of tiny little optimizations to save a few seconds here and there, because I only beat this record by just a couple of seconds. Jang27 donated $15 and says, Hey Carl, in physics we tend to be critical of biology because of the lack of reproducibility of experiments. A bigger problem in medical research is enough being done to make things better. Well, I mean, that's a really good question. Like, unfortunately, it's like you would hope so. We, we console ourselves by saying, well, it's not as bad as psychology, and then the psychologists console themselves and be like, well, it's not as bad as sociology, so... <laughs> Uh, in my own experience, I've almost never run into science experiments that like I have read about and tried to replicate myself that haven't been true. So, but you do say it's a bigger problem in medical research. Um, I know that there's a lot more people thinking about the problem these days. And I know a lot of, of the scientific journals that actually do stuff and peer review process and all that kind of stuff is very hyper-focused on all the different ways that people can basically fudge data. Um, so it's definitely like the awareness of it is really raising. I think that's going to, in the long run, make people stop doing that. Doing that shit. It's understandable though, like, you know, scientists are human like anybody else and people like get real, feel like pressure and stress to like publish results and that kind of stuff. But that, that ain't helping anybody. Do you don't find that p-hacking is a problem? Ah, ploppers. I mean, p-hacking is a problem in all of science for sure. It's a problem because I think a lot of scientists aren't even aware that they're doing it. So the idea with p-hacking is where like, you know, you often hear scientific results 
uh, reported as statistically significant and some of them will say like P less than 0.05 and that kind of stuff and then they're just like chocolate cures cancer and then they're just like orange juice cures cancer and then they're just like okay the people are just fucking making shit up at this point the reason that this happens is people will often like what that really means statistically is assuming like no bias no problems with your experimental setup blah 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 the chance of the results that you get arriving by chance arising by chance are somewhere in the less than five percent range and if you measure 20 different variables okay by chance one of those is going to work just through random fluctuation is there really something going on no so that's why in science we want repeated results lots of people doing the same thing and there's a problem called p-hacking where people don't do that and they're just like republish whatever what they measure like a hundred things and just publish whichever one of them happens to just eke over the statistically significant line and it, there's a lot of awareness being raised about that lately i hope it continues because that is that shit ain't science that's bullshit uh laser kaiser ho thank you for the five month subs says pronunciation guide for my name laser <laughs> I, could, I literally <laughs> It's literally lower case row and like there's a pronunciation guide in the comment and my, I literally just said laser kaiser ho. <laughs> oh my god, that could not have been more perfect. What do you think of, what is your take on CRISPR gene drive? Well, gene drive is extremely interesting. So we've talked a couple of times now about just the thing called CRISPR, which is like some newfangled way to genetically modify stuff. And if you haven't read about it, read, uh, seen any videos about it or anything, highly recommend it. It's really cool. Especially the YouTube video, Genetic Engineering Could Change Everything or something like that by like Kyrgyzak or whatever. Don't know how to say that name. Um, but gene drive is a really interesting take on that where they essentially genetically modify mosquitoes or something. It doesn't have any mosquitoes. But that was like one of the first obvious uses so that when they, when you have like the genetically modified one m breeds or mates with an ungenetically modified one, it essentially, when they have offspring, it forces the mutation that you want to always occur in the offspring. And what if that mutation is lethal in like one it's like one year you die or something like that so then these mosquitoes will go out and they all start having babies and then all those babies will go have uh will go mate with other things and it just basically creates this entire population of self-destructing organisms that eventually is all going to die and so this could be used to potentially wipe out uh disease carrying um pathogen or things that are carrying like like dengue virus, malaria, all sorts of different pathogens. So it's a really interesting idea, but it's also like, should we release this into the wild? Because what if you like you can't stop it once the gene drive starts starts its engines and starts going? So that's like the the weird thing about the gene drive. I I think that we probably shouldn't use that to like try to wipe out species unless we like really fucking need to or we really know very well what's going to happen or we have some way to actually have some way to actually turn that shit off but yeah genocide on mosquitoes the um i don't know there's a, i've read that mosquito i've read that mosquitoes are like extremely useful pollinators and killing them would be horrible but i've also read that it's like well actually there's lots of shit that does what mosquitoes do and we wouldn't kill all the mosquitoes we just kill some of the mosquitoes <laughs> so i don't know where that really stacks up but malaria is a huge problem mosquitoes carry all sorts of other terrible things um, can I just say that your me is terrible? Well, fuck you too. <laughs> I love you. I believe, I believe, every day's a good day when you paint. I believe, I believe, it'll bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart.